we're here already for a September playlist. The months are just going by so, so quick. Let's get straight into it. Uh, Free D-Dog by NBA Youngboy. Now, I've been waiting to put this song in here. I put this song on here like a couple months ago, but it got taken down because it wasn't uploaded by Youngboy. It was uploaded by like some other nigga. But this is the official single. Amazing song. Literally one of the best rap songs of the year, man. Uh, very great stuff. While we're talking about songs that's really not uploaded to Apple Music, Sada Baby Block Day, that's off his new album, Whoop Tape, which I might review. Uh, Block Day really might be the best rap song of 2019. That nigga lost his mind on that song. If you have not heard that, go listen to that right now. Forget this video. Go listen to B-L-O-X-K Day by Sada Baby. That nigga said... What that nigga said? That nigga said something like, uh, uh, we done killed they homeboys, they ain't even up the scoreboard. I gave them niggas four headstones, Mount Rushmore. I cut the song off. That's amazing. That nigga was losing his mind. Shout out to Sada, baby. Anyway, let's keep going with this list. Feeling like Kivo, I actually interviewed YC Capo, upcoming right from uh, Memphis. He had a million views with this video right here a couple of days ago. Really good, uh, really good up and coming guy from Memphis, man. Um... I like him. Young nigga, like 18 years old. I'm supporting the young niggas, man, you know? I'm always, always in for some young nigga music. So, yeah, shout out to YNC Capo Fire Zone. Um, Ain't No Love by Mike. Now, I was reviewing this album, right? And I just stopped because I was like, bro, I don't know what to say about this album. It was hard. I don't know how to explain it. Maybe I'll talk about it another day. But I literally have, like, a review written out with this album. But I was like, you know, I'm just putting some of my favorite songs in the playlist. Ain't No Love so good. This sample, I had to go find a sample. The sample to the song is really good, man. Ain't No Love. You know, I'm okay sucker for some gospel music and yeah this is a really good song shout out to mike grapevines now this is uh suggested by somebody cannot remember who it was in my comment section not gonna lie a lot of the songs you guys suggest me suck <laughs> they suck bad like they're really terrible songs but whoever this nigga was came through gave me a good song wish i would have uh, wrote his name down so i give some credit but shout out to you man shout out to you really good song um, I don't think he made the song, but whoever did, Ski Mask or Ski Maski, however you said that, and Alame, hey, they were in their bag, man. Really good song. It's like a sing song. It's kind of weird. It's, uh, if you always like some good singing music, here it is right here. Self Control, a throwback, Lauren, uh, Laura, I don't know how to say her last name, but I do know that she was like buzzing really, really heavy in like the 80s and the 90s, but her husband got sick, so she literally stopped her career to take care of her husband. Uh, I think he, I think he ended up dying. I know she ended up dying. Recipes to her. Beautiful. So shout out to her, man. This is a fire song. My lose my self control. Fire. Uh, take crowns. Mike again. Um, you know, you know me because I take crowns. Mike is a good rapper, bro. He's a good rapper. So yeah, if you just want some good rap, man, uh, you know, listen to Mike. Mike, I reviewed his last album, Wore My Pen. One of the better albums of last year. Good stuff. Uh, she ready. Now this is honestly my first time hearing a full length D Savage song. I love this song. This song is amazing, bro. I love this song. She hot and ready to go. And she moving slow, gonna move a foe. I, I got a bad bitch on go. And she gonna move when I say so. That nigga was sliding on this song, bro. I literally want to interview him just off this song. So if you see a D Savage interview, just know it came from me liking this one song right here. Haven't heard the album, but if I ever get the confirmation of me uh, getting an interview, I will listen to the whole album. But yeah, this song is amazing. If I need to check out some more D Savage, let me know. Swipe story, come on, it's TJX6, do I really have to talk about it? Come on, I literally just watched, uh, is this, no, it's not Swipe Story, it was, um, it was, uh, Swipe Lessons, I just watched a video for that, like, literally, like, 20 minutes ago, great stuff, uh, Dior Pop Smoke, come on, man, this nigga Pop Smoke is the savior of New York, bro, Chrissy Dior, Dior, I'm up in all the stores, when it rains, it pours, she like to wear the, <laughs> shout out to Pop Smoke, man, the savior of New York, bro. Uh, going through, this is what I'm saying, just a whole bunch of Mike stuff that, I was like, I just put some of my favorite songs on here, so this is another one of the songs I really liked off that Mike album. Um, now this is not She Ain't Scared, this is X. Now this is a classic, maybe Florida song, I'm gonna say Jacksonville, but I'm pretty sure it's a classic Florida song by Young Cash, uh, signed by T-Pain. He has this song, uh, this is song right here, it's labeled wrong for whatever reason, but it's, uh, let me see who on that X, let me see who on that X. Baby, hey, this is fire right here. Classic Jacksonville song. Just had to put some classic Jacksonville stuff in here just because I you know a lot of niggas not from Jacksonville, so 
Gotta gotta rap for Jacksonville anytime I can. Um, best you had. Uh, legitimately, I think one of the best new artists to come out, Don Tolliver. He's so good. I don't know why he hasn't put out anything, but everything he's put out, bro, for this new album, like all the singles, legitimately ten out of ten songs, eleven out of ten songs. They're great. They are great. I don't know why Travis Scott is putting out his little like. I don't, I'm not gonna call this album. I was gonna call it bad because I haven't even heard it because it hasn't came out yet. But hey, man. Keep, my nigga. You just put out Astroworld. I don't care. Let Don Tyler put out his album, my nigga. Nobody cares about how high you are in the room. Keep your white cracker music to them crackers, my nigga. Hey, hey what, what Soulja Boy said, nigga? Hey, who Travis Scott music for? Them crackers, nigga. I'm trying to hit Don Tyler, man. So, Don Tyler, one of my favorite new artists. He's great. Um, Mantra by Jordan Reiki. I reviewed his album. Not going to say too much about it. I talked about his like album like three times already. So, yeah. If you haven't heard me talk about it, then you haven't heard me talk about it. Great great song um block up a uh, very uh very very old not old song but it's like came out 2017 and yeah this is an era man i remember being in like high school loving this song man uh beat your block up block up block up beat your block up he remind me of boosie he's like a boosie from alabama super good or mississippi no i think he's from alabama yeah alabama boosie <laughs> he's so good um bpz very slept on rapper man he's one of the better like young street rappers for sure he can rap he has a very interesting voice don't know why more niggas don't listen to him. Peasy, fire. Um, La Luna, bro, this nigga Bronson sla- snapped on here. Speaking of songs, not an album music that I want to put on here, Heel Toe, one of my favorite action Bronson songs. Like, his technical rapping on that song, man, when he was the, when he was doing the balloon boofing, work Tanner and Cam Newton, like, that whole little segment right there, that nigga was rapping. So, yeah, shout out to Action Bronson. La Luna, this is a song where I think Alchemist was on the phone, and he was put on hold, and they put the holding music on, and Bronson rapped over the holding music. The holding music was fire. I don't know where that came from, but that nigga Bronson was sliding over this song. So, yeah, really, really good stuff. Um, Ox. <laughs> so, for whatever reason, I get sponsored really weird stuff. But for for, uh, for whatever root reason, they sponsored on my Instagram this rap song right here. And this nigga looked like Action Bronson, coincidentally. Didn't pair it up like that. But this nigga was rapping his ass off on his song. Bro. I don't know who Lord Willing is, but that nigga sliding. This is a white dude from New York, and he was broxing with the rolling talk. But that nigga was talking on this. So, if you just want to hear some New York nigga that I found on Instagram who got like 2,000 followers, go ahead, man. I had to add him over here, man. Nigga was slime. Jersey, come on, man. Classic, man. Extend the, extend the, extend the. You know, the click out a whole like 30. You know what I'm saying? Just classic if you don't know how to say anything about that. You know. Uh, speaking of Boosie, come on. My, I personally would regard as my favorite Southern rapper. I think the best Southern rapper. Him and Wayne kind of uh, exchange. He's probably my second favorite behind Wayne. But Boosie, bro, he's great, man. And this is a classic song. Rod Wave mentioned this in one of his songs. And uh, yeah. He told me like that. I don't mean to. Sometimes I just feel like I don't need you. Classic, classic. It just makes you makes me think about the good old days, man. Shout out, very, very classic Boosie stuff. T Grizzly, rest in peace to his auntie slash manager. Appreciate sure you guys seeing this by now. This is a song that he dedicated to her. Good stuff, good, good stuff, man. It was very emotional, and yeah, I don't really got too much to say about it. It was just a really emotional and great song. Mama, I think I heard this while watching Eastbound and Down. Great show. I should do a review on that. Uh, the um. Kenny Power show. Good stuff, man. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they played some Eastbound and Down. I was like, yeah, this is fire. I gotta put it in there. So shout out to Eastbound and Down. Unwritten Natasha Bingfield. Um, yeah, I think I seen Zach Fox perform this and I was like, yo, you know what? This is actually a classic song, and it's kind of been stuck in my head ever since. So I just go ahead and put it in there. Um, Ecstasy. Now my homeboy C Robin, literally, I don't know how he found this. This nigga got like a hundred views on this song right here, but he sampled it. I don't know how he found a song with a hundred views. Some RB nigga from the 90s. Nigga was singing his behind off, bro. Nigga was singing like he was singing with his freedom papers. I don't know what this nigga was on. I don't know why this nigga don't got more than a hundred views, but this is from the 90s and the nigga was sliding. So yeah, uh go check out whoever Omar Chandler is. Nigga's fire. Um, Bundles, shout out to Webby, put out a classic, man. Bundles is a new Webby song, but it got that old Webby feel, and I can see females is loving this song, because... He said, I need a girl that like Bundles. You know, women love weaves, so there's that. Um, So Ready, I reviewed this Raphael Sadiq album. I think is uh, safe to say the best R&B album of the year. And yeah, this nigga was in his bag. So shout out to Raphael Sadiq. Uh, if you want to look at my review, go look at that. But this album, man, must listen. And lastly, uh, every nigga has played this song around me. <laughs> every black person loves this song right now, man. I put some new Fortiados on the Jeep. Everybody loves this Roddy Rich song right now. So I had to put it on here because it's kind of been stuck in my head. So 
there you go. Listen to some of these songs. They're really great.